right, folks, so it's that time of the year. Um, we're getting close to the launch for both our target and our hunting platform. We're really excited about it. I want to start with you know, the success and, and how well we've done with the two-track system in the past. We've really perfected the two-track system in general with the last few years. Our efficiency and our standards are the highest they've ever been. We've created a platform that is so efficient um, nobody else in the market can touch us. So where do we go from there? What do we do now? Have we created the perfect bow? Um, we have the opportunity here still to work on a, a better platform. And that's what we're going to talk about today with our new set technology and ASIM tri-track cam system. So as we talked about what we wanted to do for the new 2020 hunting bow, we took a deeper look at what we were working on for our 2020 target bow, the result. The result had the result had changes that we've never seen with Elite, with our new ASIM tri-track cam system, with a wider limb pocket and the set technology. The testing with the set technology went so well, we decided we were going to try everything we could to get it into the new hunting bow. And what you see here is the Cure, which is the 2020 flagship hunting bow for Elite. As I mentioned set technology before, that stands for Simplified Exact Tuning. And what that actually is, is the ability for us to control the pitch or the attitude of the back of the limb pocket. So, so what you can do with set technology is you can make your bow perform better without the use of a bow press. How we can do that in the hunting bow platform is with broadhead tuning. Um, you, can, you can easily get your bow with broadheads and field points to hit and impact the exact same spot. It makes it effortless compared to all other platforms on the market. You can get this bow set up and dialed in with just a few tweaks and everything will be dead on and locked in and set for the entire hunting season. Without the use of a bow press, all you need is an Allen wrench to adjust the set technology. You can do this in the field, on the line, anywhere without any specialty tools or knowledge. Whether you're trying to paper tune your bow in the shop or you're out in the field trying to tune broadheads, all you need is a simple Allen wrench to tune with set technology. Let me explain how to use set technology. It's simple. There's two screws on both ends of the bow. The back screw on the back of the riser is a lockdown screw. That keeps everything set, it keeps your pocket locked in, and that's what holds everything tight. The screw on the side is the adjustment screw. That's what allows you to adjust the, the angle or the attitude of the pocket. So in order to adjust the bow, if you have a right tear, you would just break the lockdown screw in the back loose and then turn the adjustment screw, screw clockwise on both the top and bottom. After you're done with the adjustment, all you do is lock down the lockdown screw and you're set. So with set technology, you use the exact same process on both the top and bottom limbs. So the exact same order of operations, if you want to adjust the bottom, you break the, the set screw loose on the back or the lockdown screw. And then for a right tear, you would turn the screw clockwise on the bottom. And once you've gotten to your desired location, you just lock the screw back down on the back and you're good to go. So if you have a right tear, you want to turn your screw to the right. And if you have a left hair, you want to turn the screw to the left. The adjustment is very fine, so you get a lot of adjustment and a lot of tuning fix in very mi minor tweaks to the bow. All right, so what is tuning? There's many different levels from professional archers to hunters. Tuning is something that should be important to everyone because it means that you're getting the most out of your bow setup. You're getting the best arrow flight you can possibly get. So getting your bow tuned is critical for the desired result, whether you're shooting targets or hunting. Um, you want to have your bow perfectly dialed in for the situation. So if you want to have perfect broadhead flight and you would like to get your field points and your broadheads flying the most true and perfect they can, you're going to have to spend time tuning the bow or you're going to, you're going to need the bow to perform well with that arrow in your setup. And every setup is different. That's the biggest key, is every bow setup and arrow setup for every archer is slightly different. So being able to tune easily and quickly is very important. It, it helps um, eliminate the time spent working on the bow and, and doing any kind of tech 
tech oriented jobs. So you can get in the field faster and be more effective without having to work on the bow as much. The arrow flight in general, if your bow is tuned well, your arrow flight is going to be very linear. It's going to go straight. Um, you're going to be easy to side in. Everything's going to work well and your broadheads are going to fly right with your field points. If you have a bow that doesn't tune, you could be looking at a very large range of flight and difference in flight. Your, your broadheads might hit five inches to the right or low of where your field points do and that's something that a lot of hunters experience and with set technology and our new ASIM tri-track cam system most of those things are gone and they can be solved very very easily without having to put it into a press. When you put a broadhead on your arrow, especially a large fixed blade broadhead, the broadhead actually acts like a wing on the front of your arrow. So you have your flexions in the back that are trying to steer and create drag on the arrow to correct flight. When you put a broadhead on, it's trying to do the exact same thing on the other end. So it makes it very difficult for the arrow to, to fly straight if your bow is not tuned correctly. So the result of a tuned bow is you have an arrow that is flying straight from the time it leaves the bow until it hits the target. So one of the first things you're going to notice about the new 2020 flagship elites is the new cam system. The new ASIM tri-track cam system features an adjustable rotating mod and three tracks. The benefit of this cam system is a more balanced load. So before, with our two-track cam system, both of the cables were on the same side of the cam, which creates an imbalance or an unbalanced system as a whole. The ASIM tri-track cam system has a cable on each side which balances the load of the cams, which balances the load on the limbs and creates a more stable platform. So in addition to the benefits of the rotating mod system and the balanced load with the ASIM tri-track system, you can run either a cable stop or a limb stop. Or if you choose, you can even run both. It gives the consumer and the archer the option to have a wall that feels exactly like they want. So the new ASIM tri-track cam system has seven inches of draw length adjustment in quarter inch adjustments, not half inch adjustments, quarter inch adjustments. You can adjust incrementally a quarter inch through seven inches of total range. That's great for the archer and again you can set the bow up and tailor it exactly to what you need. Um, in the design of this cam system, one of the biggest things we wanted to make sure we still had was the elite feel. We couldn't compromise the feel and the making sure we have the limb stops is part of that, but also the feel and the draw cycle. We're known for forgiving smooth bows and that's very important to us and we wanted to make sure that this cam system had that same elite feel that we're all used to. So the new 2020 flagship elites featuring the ASIM tri-track cam system and the set technology offer many benefits. Stability is one of the biggest benefits that you're going to notice this year. We accomplished that by creating a larger base with the limb pockets. We have a, a wider base in the limb pocket which gives us a, a larger and wider limb stance. Uh, that decision was made based upon what we know from our target bows from years past. We knew we wanted to go to a, a larger and wider limb setup to give us more stability and allow the cam to hold everything perfectly in line throughout the shot cycle. Along with that portion of the set technology, we go to the ASM tri-track cam where you're going to see a larger bearing and axle system as well. This helps the cam track straight and keeps the forces balanced and keeps axle deflection to a minimum. And that's critical in the stability of the entire shot. So from the factory, the bows are going to come with the cable stops installed. And as you see the cable stops, there's four positions where you can adjust your holding weight and your let off. On the cable stop, you can see that there's five threaded holes, and that's where you can put in your limb stop. So you can put your limb stop in addition to the cable stop and run those both at the same time. So you can create higher or lower holding weight and still have the same elite feel and get it exactly like you want wherever feels best for you. So if you do choose to use the limb stop, you can see on the cable stop there's five threaded holes. You attach your limb stop there. To put the most holding weight, you would put the limb stop closest to the axle. That's going to give you a, a higher hold and a shorter valley. Um, something that some people are used to shooting and, and maybe for target shooters especially. If you want more valley 
and lower holding weight or higher let off, you're going to go the furthest away from the axle in the furthest position. That's going to be your 90% let off, typical elite feel with a large forgiving valley. So the cam system and how I know it's so much more stable is because the difference in paper. The reason I know this cam system is more stable than anything else we've ever produced is the difference in paper tears in tuning are less between individuals than I've ever seen or experienced before in my archery career. We've got guys that have normally have extreme rights or extreme lefts, and we're all fairly close now. The difference is very, very minimal, and you know that's directly from the ASIM Tri-Track cam system and the set technology. The set technology makes it easy to adjust, and the cam system is so stable that it makes it hard to make a bad shot. This is not only the best elite bow I've ever had in my hands, this is the best bow I've ever had in my hands. From both tunability and shootability, this bow is forgiving, the draw cycle feels great, and it's easy to use. It's gonna be a great bow for 2020, and down the road I think we're gonna develop even greater technology from, from this and from this year and what we learn in our further developments. All right, so using set technology to correct a right tear or a tail right tear in paper, first you're going to unlock the locking screws on the back of the riser. They're on the very back of the riser. And you just break those loose, top and bottom. And then you're going to turn the adjustment screws to the right or clockwise to correct that right tear. So you're going to want to make sure that you adjust them equally. So if you have an extreme tear that's way far off, you're going to want to adjust a little bit more. But little movements create a large amount of change. So if you're, if you're getting a little bit of a right tear, a quarter turn to both the top and then the bottom will get you quite a big result or a big difference in paper. And then you're just going to lock down both the top and the bottom and you're good to go. So if you're experiencing a left tear or a tail left tear through paper. You're going to do the same thing as you would for a right, just the opposite. You're going to break both the locking screws on the back of the riser loose. And then you're going to turn the screws counterclockwise or left. And again, make sure you only make small adjustments. An eighth or a quarter turn is going to make enough of an impact difference that you should be able to see it through paper immediately. As soon as you make that adjustment and get it, go right back to the lockdown screw and everything should be good to go, and you're set. So to adjust the draw length on the ASIM Tri-Track cam system, you're gonna use your Torx head, and you're gonna break the two, two set lockdown screws on the cam. One of the screws will have to come out every time. The other screw is in a slot. It doesn't have to come out in every draw length. It depends on how much of an adjustment you're gonna make. You'll move the mod to the location that you're looking for, say a number one is the longest position, you can see that through the hole or the viewing window on the cam. Um, so you wanna go to a number five, you're gonna go to the number five with the mod, set the mod in position, and then put your screws back in and lock down both of the, the, the torque screws and you're good to go. You're gonna to wanna to put those both on the exact same number, top and bottom, so they're even and your draw length is balanced. So to adjust the holding weight or the let off on the ASIM Tri-Track cam system. You're gonna take the torque screw on the back side or the opposite side as your mod length adjustment and you're gonna break it loose and you're gonna put the cable stop in a position. There's four slots where you can put this cable stop. So to lengthen it or make it go closer to the axle in this position is gonna take away let off or increase holding weight. If you would want to add the limb stop you're gonna take your limb stop, our elite limb stop that we've been using for years, and screw it right into these five, one of these five holding positions with the tapped holes. The furthest from the axle is gonna be your highest let off, which is your 90% let off. It's gonna give you that elite feel, long valley. Um, and then the closest to the axle is gonna be the highest holding weight or the lowest let off for guys like target archers especially who want the high holding weight um, or a more aggressive valley. So go to your local dealer and shoot the new result and cure from Elite Archery. Welcome to the next generation of Elite Archery.